Yeah, I think just thinking about this matchup for one second, Squirtle seems so prominent. It's going to be really hard for Bayo to catch such a tiny character. Absolutely. That's something that Bayo definitely does struggle with. And once they get to, you know, the later half, even if Amaryllis does do a lot of damage, there's something that has to do with that Charizard. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. PT has that switch. It, and Bayonetta, a character that they need like a, it's, they don't really get too many kills off of just like raw moves. They usually get like either a read or a confirm. And it's gonna be hard for, I think, Bayonetta to get that on a character with such good defensive options, like the frame one switch. This is looking very bad. Ooh, that's gonna be the first dog. Ooh, already, see, I, his <laughs> Squirtle. Squirtle against Bayo can be extremely devastating. Just immediately just, just not even letting Bayo have any fun. Amaryllis has to get their footing in, and they have to just try and at least put some damage on. Not gonna SD. Oh. I lied. They are gonna <laughs> SD. <laughs> um, they did use their um, air dodge, so that's definitely um, just very sad. Already losing this um, second slog. This yeah. is gonna be hard for Bayo to make up. A brutal way to start a set. If I'm um, if I'm Amaryllis right now, I'm gonna just try to shake this game off. I think it, I it, mean, it's going to be really rough to bring this back, but some definitely signs of life really rough. Out. But the thing is, Bayonetta can camp. <laughs> she does not have to interact with anybody, and as much as you know, like she doesn't have fun in neutral, she can definitely have a really nice time forcing people to do things in a lot of situations where they don't. So even though you know, Squirtle is a very small character, Ansarius really needs to pick um, and choose where they actually want to put a lot of their hitbox. And this is definitely where you can see some life getting into for Amaryllis because they are at 86%, not gonna die just yet. Good recovery right there. And putting on some uh, more damage at 114%, but this is this is gonna be where they actually, you know, show a little bit of life because this is, oof, not gonna get that up, um, up smash punish, but yeah, Charizard, not gonna kill just yet. A character that's really good at covering space, both the back air and like strong out of shield options. I can see Bayonetta struggling to like live long against Charizard because they can shut down any like side B movement mm. or any attacks on shield and right there. Oh, quick was, three stock. That was such a rough three stock. Yeah. Squirtle was throwing hands. He got the hands, but yo, he's tiny. <laughs> he can throw them hands. It don't matter if they tiny or not. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. But that was a really nice, you know, first um game from Quid. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, Quid right there, just just like a textbook way of holding the lead. Saw, it, um, just had the combo game on point, and as soon as they got that edge guard, just did not give um, Amaryllis any like openings. Stayed in shield, which Bayonetta I think struggles with. I don't know. You could confirm, but I think. Uh, okay. She definitely does do all really bad on shield. She just, it's not one of the places she wants to do in, um, be in, but she can actually threaten that space pretty well. Um, but yeah, getting to this next game, Amaryllis doesn't want to do anything. And wow, that was really nice actually getting that up tilt hit, the back hit of up tilt. Up tilt isn't as big as it was in Smash 4. However, it, that up, that big part of up tilt, that up, that up tilt, it can, it can lead to some damage. Yeah, I think it's one of the strongest moves from um, at least my experience with her. Absolutely. But just already kind of making it a little bit more even. Amaryllis definitely is trying to pressure a lot of, you know, what Squid wants to do. Um, just already, wow, reading that nice jump in and getting 72% in, forcing Quid to actually switch off of Squirtle. But oh. gonna die. That oh, that was a little bit of a missed DI because I think, if I remember correctly, you DI in first and then DI out for IV soar, um, down throw, up B. I believe I'm not really? the yeah. other way around. I think uh, you, want, you don't want to die out on the strong hit up B because otherwise you'll die at those percents. Like, yes, thank yeah. you for correcting me. But this, Amaryllis definitely needs to be careful about how they're landing because that was that just spelled death for them. But they can definitely still get something off of this nice ledge trap. It doesn't matter that Bea doesn't have anything on shield. She can definitely still ledge trap like her life depends on it. And ooh. Getting a little bit scary there. I don't know. That that was looking like a up smash and a half, but not gonna get that from Quid. Getting out of the corner there from Amarillas and oh, that is so brutal. <laughs> Y'all see how Bayo just didn't get that hit of down um, air. That's just that's just the way. And that that was so huge because killing this Charizard, I think, is this is what's gonna determine the entire game is let, let not letting this Charizard run away with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Definitely love that Amaryllis is trying to be very careful about how they get off the ledge. Maybe doing a little bit too much, but they are gonna lose that second stock. 
this is where you really need to be careful because this it's super hard to play against Charizard. You cannot interact with this character. As we see, that's exactly what happens when you actually interact with Charizard. You just get messed up. And Amaryllis just needs to be a little bit careful because oh, they wow. got three stocks. Six oh, no! Stocks. Yeah, that, that is a brutal set. I think it was oh, really no. just a matter of Amaryllis not be able to get their footing the entire time. Absolutely. It, and it was just speaking, constant momentum. Yes. Speaking of footing, that's what they needed to do. Amaryllis definitely needs to plant their feet on the ground only because, you know, it's it, it's really hard to play Bayonetta sometimes. I know, um, you know, you have a lot of other Bayo players that know, like, you cannot do stuff like that. As we saw right there, Amaryllis got hit with the parry to up tilt, and they also got parry to, um, I think, I forgot what was that parry um, from, but not entirely sure. Either way, a lot of things just don't really work out too, for you too well because th this is just one character that you don't want to mess with. You can't be throwing hands, but y'all was seeing the squirrel got them hands, bro. Yeah, that matchup. I don't know. Um, I I think you would know more than me, but it seems rough for Bayo. It seems 